<clears throat> so I did a video yesterday and it just didn't work out for me. Um, because I couldn't upload it. So I said, let me do the video over. So we're talking about practicing group economics, okay? Group economics, group economics, all right? <clears throat> Network marketing was built on the concept of group economics, where now we can transfer our buying power, right? So if your friend, your sister, your cousin, you know, starts a network marketing company and it's products that you already use, then you can transfer your buying power to your sister, your cousin, or your friend, right? So people become a part of network marketing simply to make money, right? Um, and that's true, right? But network marketing is bigger than just making money, friends. It's all about positioning yourself as a leader to empower yourself financially, to start your own business, to grow as a person, to become better, to become financially stable, and to help others. That's how it works, right? So, so you empower you first, you get your knowledge, you get your knowledge, you use the product, you use the services in your company, and then now you help other people. So it's a very simple system. Network marketing is not complicated. It's just not complicated. Each network marketing company is different. Each network marketing company has different leadership. Each network marketing company has different compensation plan and products. So I'm a part of two, right? One is credit, one is health and wellness. So it's two totally different uh, it's two totally different network marketing companies. So here's one of my network marketing companies, right? Which I sell tea. Here's the thing. Tea been around for 900 years, right? People have been drinking tea for 900 years. People continue to buy tea. They're going to continue to buy tea for another 900 years. So me, it made sense for me to be a part of a company that sells tea. I know a ton of people that drink tea or a ton of people that want to detox. People are looking for detoxes. People are looking, uh, you know, to go to the bathroom. You know, people are looking for tea. So why don't I become or be a part of a company that allows me now to sell tea to my people, right? My people already, my grandmother, aunt, uncle, cousin, you know, my followers, they're already buying tea. So why not? sell tea so now they can practice group economics with me so now instead of them going to Lipton or they're going to Starbucks they can actually come to me and buy some tea so the money now stays within our community right our black community whether it's Asian black or white or Indian right the money now stays within my community so instead of them going to Starbucks instead of them going to 7-eleven they can actually come to my store me my website or come to my home and get some tea from me so that puts money back into my pocket that also helps my children eat. That also helps me pay, you know, my mortgage. Help me, you know, pay my insurance. Help me, you know, travel, right? So that's how it works. So people buy tea anyway, right? So I just position myself so people can buy tea from me and transfer their buying power. People also buy coffee. So Total Life Changes sells coffee. This is the coffee they sell. This is the coffee. Okay. And this is the coffee right so TLC sells coffee right so I'm like okay well TLC <laughs> is a company that everybody drinks coffee so I know people that drink coffee so why don't I now become an independent business owner with TLC and now educate my people on how to transfer their buying power to me now and buy coffee from me now I make money instead of them going to Starbucks and Dunkin Donuts and all those other places to help those communities to thrive now you can help my, me and my community to be able to thrive. People buy Johnson & Johnson baby oil all day long. So I have a company that sells oil. So instead of going to Johnson & Johnson, continue to make them millions, continue to help them go on vacation, continue to help them build their wealth, now you can help me. Okay, now you can help me take care of my children, me take care of my family, me to travel and buy oil straight from me. I also sell vitamins. People buy vitamins all day, all day long. So, why not? <laughs> okay, Tanisha sells vitamins. Okay, here you go. <laughs> now you can buy vitamins from me. Now your vitamin supplement, your health and wellness supplements can now come from me instead of going to a GNC, right? So this is how you have to look at network marketing. It's a way for you to transfer your buying power from the big corporations to the small business. From the big business to the small business. That's it, right? Because we need people to buy from us to continue to thrive, right? Now, 
if you're a black person and I got involved, then you, you know, you're one of my family members. You know, you'll buy from me, right? If you were Asian, you bought from your sister or your cousin. You and they started a business, you would buy from them, right? If you were white and your sister started a business, you would buy from her. Same thing with Indian culture. If your sister starts a business, you would buy from her. Now, all your dollars that you will spend on coffee and Starbucks to help them and their community thrive, now you will buy it from your own people so that your own community can continue to thrive. So it's the same thing with a service. So if you have a phone service, right, and you've been going to T-Mobile for 20 years, now your sister sells T-Mobile service, go to her. That's it. Whether you mad, whether you sad or anything at her, it doesn't matter. You got to really give a fuck about your community. You got to say, you know, my community is worth me keeping the dollars in our community. Just like um, Brother Ben said, he said the black dollar only stays within a community for eight hours. The Jewish community, it stays more than 60 days. Right? So we got to learn how to keep our dollars in our community so we can build and grow, you know, our community, build and grow our children, build and grow our schools, build and grow our roles, build and grow, you know, you know, our stores. Right. So we have to understand this thing, friends. Right. We were taught to hate ourselves and love their wealth. Right. Kanye West said that. And I posted a video on my Instagram the other day and she was talking about how we literally were taught to hate ourselves. That's why everybody want to look white. Everybody want to bleach their skin. Everybody want to look skinny. Everybody want to have the nice hair, the nice nails. But we're missing the whole point. The whole point, friends, of us as black people winning together is that we are helping and supporting and uplifting each other. Right. Even my daughter, she sells bracelets. So I'm telling all of my friends. They're buying bracelets from me. They're going to go buy bracelets anyway. They're going to go buy Pandora shit anyway. They're going to go to, you know, the Chinese man and get bracelets anyway. So my daughter sells bracelets. Why not get it from her? She's a black girl. She needs school supplies. She can have that towards her school supplies. She can have that toward her school, uh, uh, you know, her school uh, uniforms or, you know, school book bag and getting back and forth to, to, to school. It's like a no brainer. Right, it's called transference of buying power. That's what it is. It's called group economics. Same thing with the credit. There's millions of people looking right now, friends, to build their credit. Okay, I sell credit. I show you how to do it. Now get it from me. Right? I show you now how to get your identity theft, right? Instead of going to identity theft or going through a big company or going through Lex to Ten Law or whatever, now you can come through Tanisha. Tanisha has it. Simple as that, right? That's how it works, friends. But we got to care about each other enough to want our community to grow. If we all just say, oh, no, we 450 years behind. Oh, well, so what? We ain't going to never catch up. Then guess what, friends? We're absolutely, you're absolutely right. We're never going to catch up. We're never going to win. I don't care how much millions of dollars one black person got, billions of dollars one black person got, or zero dollars a black person got. If we do not come together, friends, we will never go nowhere together. White people support each other. Asian people support each other. Indian people support each other. Spanish people support each other. Black people don't support each other. Right? So with a network marketing company, it's not always oh, a scam. Everybody at the top making money. No, it's about you educating yourself and understanding how network marketing works where now you can transfer your buying power. So for me, I have not been to Starbucks, Dunkin' Donuts, or 7-Eleven or none of those coffee places in three years. Why? Because I could buy coffee from me. I haven't been drinking Lipton or none of those other teas because I've been drinking tea from myself. I don't buy oil from Johnson & Johnson or none of that because I buy it from myself. I don't go to GNC and get vitamins or go to Walgreens and all that to get vitamins. I get it from myself. So I'm going to spend the money anyway. I need coffee, tea, oil, vitamins anyway. So why not get it from myself? Put more money back into my pocket, into my community, into my household. That's how it works, friends. That's what network marketing is all about. Whatever facade that your mom gave you, that your dad gave you, you only got to recruit people to make money. It's a lie. Okay? It's a lie. 
Network marketing is bigger than just recruiting people. It's you empowering you, you practicing group economics, okay? It's a way to practice group economics. You empower you, you become a leader, you become a resource, you become the person that opens up everybody else's eyes, and you be the one to show them how they can get paid while you're getting paid. It's a lovely thing, right? What's wrong with getting paid from your grandmother or your aunt who's buying coffee from you? Nothing. What's wrong with your husband or your wife buying vitamins from you? Nothing. What's wrong with your, your, your people getting credit, you know, from you and you're getting paid from it? It's nothing wrong with that. These companies, they get paid from your grandmother, aunt, uncle. What's the difference? My grandmother buys coffee from me. She's a diehard coffee fan. So she's been buying coffee from 7-Eleven, Starbucks for 50 years, 80 years. Oh, my granddaughter sells coffee. Oh, let me buy from her now. My grandmother buy coffee from me. My aunt, she been taking vitamins her whole freaking life, right? I sell vitamins. And now she's like, you know what? Let me support my, my niece and buy vitamins from her. My aunt, my aunt drink tea like damn near 24-7. She buys from me. My grandmother loves oil. <laughs> Instead of buying a baby Johnson, she's buying it from me. All right, so we all have to practice group economics, friends. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a that's what it is. Okay, this is what it boils down to. We have to practice group economics. We cannot get away from this thing. Okay, we can't. Like the Asians, you go to the Asian community, they don't got no black people in there. You go to the Indian community, they ain't got no Indian people there. Right? They don't, right? Because they're practicing group economics. This is something that we can learn from other cultures. Practicing group economics, helping each other get ahead. When the, when the Chinese people come into the black community and do hair and nails, do you think they put in money back into the black community to create jobs and stuff? No, they're going back to their community to, to go create jobs, to make sure their mortgage is paid, to make sure their kids is good. That's what they're doing. Okay, that's exactly what they're doing. So we can learn from that, friends, and start to adopt that. We can create our own nail salons, our own hair salons, our own health and wellness and beauty. We can create our own financial uh, um, uh, uh, stores, our own financial you know, systems. And we keep the dollar within the community. The black dollar matters. Too many people, too many black people are destitute. Black people hate each other. Right? So what happens is now, if I sell coffee, I'm not going to help her. I ain't helping her get ahead of me. Uh-uh, fuck her. I'm going to go back to Starbucks. Uh-uh, I'm going to keep helping my white people get ahead. It's like stupid. Right? Oh, I'm not going to buy no tea from her. Fuck it. I'm going to go, you know, I'm going to go over here and buy some tea. I'm going to help them get ahead. Right? You may not consciously be saying, oh, you know what? Fuck her. I'm going to help them get ahead than her. But subconsciously, that's what's happening. Subconsciously, you're helping the next race get ahead of your race by keep funding their dream. That's what we're doing, right? We're taking our black dollars to fund other races' dreams. And other races don't take their money to fund our dreams. So who starts, right? It starts with us, friends. It starts with you. If you drink coffee, you know I sell coffee. Buy coffee for me. You know I sell tea. You drink tea. Buy tea from me, right? I drink oil. I mean, I have oil. You know I have oil. Buy it from me. You take vitamins anyway. Buy it from me. We're practicing group economics as a black people. And this is so key. And this is so true. Okay? We can't get away from this, friends. So let's practice group economics. You have a friend that sells something, buy from them. Post on your social media wall, okay? Refer other people, tell other people about them, okay? This is how we get together, right? Show love, right? Buy from them multiple times, not just once, not just twice. You know what I'm saying? Not just a, a, a one-time thing. Buy from them, okay? Buy from them, just like you go to Starbucks daily. You go to your friend store daily. You know, go to Walmart every damn week. You go to your friend store every week. It's the same thing. You're spending the money anyway. Right? Why not help your community to grow? You think Walmart is putting money back into the black community? No, they're not. 7-Eleven, Starbucks? No, they're not. We're only fueling and funding the other culture's dreams. We're only fueling their dreams. We're only helping them grow. We're only helping them go to the next level. Not us. And we continue to go down. While they go up, we continue to go down. And then we never rise.
And then we never come together. And then we never have any unity. And then no one wins. And then I don't care if you have millions of dollars. I don't care if you have zero dollars. If we can't come together, you can't help and support, we all fucked anyway. Okay? So I teach my team this too. Practice group economics. Okay? You have a friend that sells coffee. You have a friend that sells whatever. You have a friend that sells makeup. They sell wigs. They sell eyelashes. They sell sneakers. They sell clothes. Buy from them. You're spending the money anyway. We're not asking you to spend extra money. It's you're already buying these things. Just go to the black store. Call group economics, friends. So if you're interested in learning how to practice group economics, go to workwithtanisha.com.